guys welcome back to another m crater lore video so today what we're going to be working on is adding those extra uh, shale blocks uh, that we created the textures for last episode and then i think next episode what we'll be working on is basically adding some sort of um, crafting table system for um, crafting up all these different blocks in the game so we'll have something similar to like our tool table but uh, we'll have it for stone variants, uh, crafting different stone types and stuff like that for all the blocks that we've made. So we'll need a big recipe system for that. So we'll be creating something like that probably next episode. So first thing that I needed to add was the actual base blocks. So the raw blocks needed to be added first. And I needed to make sure that the top and bottom textures were uh, applied and then the side textures and then I updated the name and the color on the map to terracotta, I think, or white terracotta. And then I made sure the generation properties were set up to the um, above the marble. I think we had basalt closest to the bottom of the planet uh, or the world. And then we had marble between like 64 and zero. And then we had um, where we're going to do shale between um 65 and 128 so i think that's what i set the values to so just confirming the settings and then i could finally go over and set up the top and the stairs and slabs so i was starting to work on this i needed to call it shale stairs and make sure the map color is set up properly for the color and again i went with the white um terracotta and that should give it kind of like a pinky color, uh, close close to what we have, I guess. Uh, sometimes I, I would I do wish that you could actually make um, your own color maps, but I don't think there is support for it just yet. Hopefully, in the future, Mojang will add support to data packs for it. But um, at the moment, so that's basically what I was doing. And then I needed to set up a pressure plate and set up the color on the map for that and I got the slabs done and the stairs and then I needed the um, button which I used a different side for it I used the side texture and then that particular one and then I could finally move on to the fossil version so uh, this one uh, we covered a little bit uh, later uh, in the video because I had some difficulties merging it in with the existing uh, generation for the um, shale blocks because I wanted it mixed in with it at a random probability so I was going to go with the generation for this but I ended up using features instead because I had a little bit more flexibility over how frequent it generated and stuff like that so um, I basically disabled this later on but I, I tried my best to kind of blend it in a little bit more using this at first and it didn't turn out that well so we ended up with going with features and that way we had a little bit more control over how common it was and stuff like that so i just wanted to sort the um raw blocks first and i moved around some of the uh order of them so they would uh fit properly so the fossil block is just after the raw block and then I needed to add the polished version version uh, version um, version for the um, shale as well. So uh, one of the things that I want to start dipping into is Forge Energy and a few other things like that. We might even develop our own uh, system for energy. Um, I know that would be a lot more complex, but after working with Forge Energy, I think it's just like it's it's got a lot of issues with. Um, how much support we do have for it and i think it would probably be better just to develop our own system but um i do want to do some tech stuff and make some machines and stuff like that and you know branch out from there eventually um i also i read read some comments and stuff like that somebody suggested uh to add a specific block uh, i can't remember the name of it i couldn't really pronounce it but um 
It's uh, another volcanic block. And then I replied. I said, um, we should practice, actually go and make a uh, volcanic biome because that would be pretty interesting. We could generate basalt as the top layer and some stuff like that. So that will be coming uh, probably after we get the um, crafting recipes and we'll start working on the volcanic uh, biome, which will be interesting. We haven't added a biome for some quite some time, so it'll be interesting to see what we can come up with for some volcanic trees and stuff like that. Outside of that, uh, we got the um, cobbled version, I think, is what we're working on next. So I needed to co make cobbled stairs, cobble uh, slabs, walls, all that stuff. And I'm just basically duplicating the blocks that we had from the polished version. And same procedure over again. That's why I'm just talking about other plans and stuff like that. It's pretty much just me doing the same thing multiple times. But <laughs> I needed to uh, set up the textures and just give it the GUI names and make sure that it was all set up for all the different sides and stuff like that but yeah the volcanic one will be an interesting one to work on because uh we'll be adding some more volcanic blocks and stuff like that and um maybe some unique ores and um maybe a new tool set or something like that i'm not sure what we'll be we'll actually be doing but i want to uh start focusing on like i said the uh forge energy so we might be able to get something like geysers or something like that um, built into it or something like that so maybe we can tap into that later but um, yeah the last thing that I needed was the mossy cobblestone and this was the other set that I needed to add so I've been adding the mossy cobblestone blocks and then same procedure just plop them over create a new folder stick them under that folder and then I could basically update the textures. So I needed to find it and then add all the different mossy textures. Now, one of the things that I have noticed with the textures and stuff is when you add a mossy color, it kind of tints it a little bit, especially if you um, use a lot stronger color, which is really interesting because um, you don't really notice it too much with vanilla Minecraft, like mossy cobblestone and stuff. Like you will notice that the texture is more green, but um, when you're working with like transparency and stuff, it kind of blends the uh, colors together, which is kind of cool. And then I needed to set the creative order for all these blocks. So I just basically opened up the creative order inventory and set up the, um, the order for the workspace. So once that was all set up, I could basically compile all that and we could move into... Uh, setting up the wall uh, tag, so we needed to add the new walls that we created uh, or they wouldn't connect properly So once we've done that it was into game and then I could actually see if there was any generation issues and I was just looking at my Y level to see where the ore was generating and I couldn't see a lot of uh, Fossil blocks being generated. I did check many nodes and like generation I flew around at heights that it should have been at and though I found a lot of uh, shale blocks uh, there was not a whole lot of um, fossil shale actually being generated so that's why I went with uh, features instead so we had a little more customizability over uh, generation and stuff like that so I did find another uh, area over here I was just kind of breaking these blocks to kind of see if there was any shale, fossil shale blocks underneath it, uh, mixed in with it. And I couldn't see any on the t sides or the ends or anything like that. So I knew that it was not common enough to be able to do it this method. So I did try my best to um, set that all up. But um, after that, I just added a feature and I went ahead and created it, called it... Um, uh, shale fossils and then I could basically go ahead and uh, add the feature element itself and then I needed it to be on the lowest generation I did select the top one for or generation before but I decided to do it at the very last generation level uh, just so it would have a for sure chance of finding the shale itself so um, once I did that I ended up um setting up the uh, biome for what it should generate and now it should generate all in the entire world uh, for our custom world right so I went with a simple 
uh, ore generation. Um, eventually, I got to that point. <laughs> it took me a while to decide which one I wanted to go with. There's a few other options I could have gone with, but um, I decided to go with the ore generation. That way I could make a group of them and set the group. So there was a few different other versions of this that I could use. And then I got rid of that block and I just spe uh, specified a single block instead. And then I was trying to see if I could mix in with uh, the other shale to make it more randomized, but um, I had to go with a single block element, unfortunately. Um, I don't think there was a easy way to go around doing that without specifying one single block. So I ended up just selecting our fossil one and actually I needed to set this to the fossil one and then I needed to go ahead and set this other one to the shale one. So those is how, that's how I set it up there. I uh, gave it a probability about eight so it can go up to eight blocks per uh, generation and that way it's not too common but it's not too rare either and then what I needed was to make sure that it would only generate in the same biome and I needed to make sure that I had more control over the amount of times that this procedure could run and then I also needed the offset for the x and y and the height level so I wanted to control it between level um, 65 and 128 and then the x y level or the x position offset so it's just ordering these a little bit differently trying to set it up in a way that it would uh, be uh, render in the particular order that I wanted it to do so I think that's basically all the blocks I was just going through the procedure blocks just make sure that there was everything so I was running the order by four. We could try rearranging these. This might have a little bit of a different effect on how the ore is generating, but that's basically what I went with. I ended up bumping the repeat section to 64 in the end because it was still not common at 16, um, but it did become a little bit more common at 64. So uh, just a good tip for that if you are having issues with finding it in your world. So the other thing that I needed to do, again, I just updated this to 16. I did test it at be between this clip and the other clip, and it wasn't generating that frequently. So I set it to 64, so I could basically test it in game. So I needed to test, and I did find some actually when I was mining out some of the previous caves that I was in. So um, this one had a couple veins here, so I was pretty happy with the results for that. And I just wanted to fly around and see if there was any other uh, possibilities for it to generate. Now I'm in the same world that I was before, just um, different area. Now I'm not seeing that much uh, shale, so it was a little harder to test, but I was pretty happy with the results that I already found a few on my first try, so it was pretty common uh, from what I could see. Um, there was a whole bunch of other shale blocks and stuff that I mind out and and here we go we have another um, fossil version here so it is common enough I think where it will be not too hard to come by but you know the odds is still pretty random of it generating so I think that's pretty good for the um, the going with the feature and having it set up though um, I did test some other ones around here and I couldn't find as much uh, if any and some of these ones, but um, I'm sure if I looked in all of them, it would be fine. I did check this one, and there was, I don't think there was any in this one, if I remember correctly, but I did take my time breaking the blocks because I didn't want to accidentally break one and not account for it, just in case only one generated. So as uh, far as I could tell, this one didn't have any, but you know, it takes time to break them all and stuff like that and mark your kind of like understand where everything was and stuff. So yeah, this one didn't have any from what I remember. And then there was some other ones over here, but I didn't mine all these ones out. I don't think just uh, the first few. All right. So recap of all the blocks that we created. So we have the um, actual stairs and the slabs 
and these are the variants that we created so really nice texture on all of them then we got the wall version and the pressure plate and the button so this is the raw version of that and then we went with the polished version so if we scroll down we have uh, oh the fossil that's right we have a fossil version and the polished version blocks wouldn't mind to revisit and try to make the polished versions a little bit nicer uh, they do seem a little bit um, kind of pale almost for their color scheme like we need to kind of have a better system for the the polished version I think but it will take some time to figure out what we need what we can go with with some of these textures and stuff I'm not too happy with the actual effect of it being like it is so eventually we'll come back to that I think for all the polished versions and try to work on something a little bit nicer uh, then we got the cobble versions for the slab stairs and walls so these are all those ones and we got mossy cobblestone stairs slabs and walls as well so uh, this is basically what the cobbled version looks like which is really nice I'm really happy with the texture that came out with that and we got the mossy cobblestone so a little bit more mossy but not too much and I'm pretty happy with how it looks as well so that's basically all the blocks that we got uh, if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out